This is Paul from Pro Comms and Security. Today is the 23rd of June 2019 and here we're going to demonstrate how to tune the TVE Spanish for the new transponder. The reason for the uh, frequency change is due to the, uh, the 5G interference uh, that's going to be causing global interference and so the satellite broadcasters are now reallocating some of the frequencies below 3800 megahertz. So I'm just going to illustrate quickly. Here's the old frequency, 3702, which is a 3700 meg transponder on Asia Sat 5. And you can see the service is TVE. So the new service for TVE is on uh, 3842 megahertz, and it's also in HD. Okay, so how do we do that? I'll quickly go through it now. So if you have a strong 4922B plus receiver, this video should help. So we press the menu button. Okay, we select installation by using the left and right arrow keys. So, so there we go. Press left, highlight installation. Press OK. It's going to ask for a password. It's four zeros. One, two, three. Four. That's if it's defaulted. Okay, and we select blind scan. Press OK. Right, now what should be selected is Asia Set 5. So you can use the up and down arrow keys to ensure you've got Asia Set 5. Then we press the right arrow key. Okay, and it'll move over to this side of the screen. Now, we just want to select pay TV, uh, free to air services. So what we're going to do is go down to mode press the right arrow button so it's free okay and the steps you can leave is 4 megahertz the tuning range we don't need to scan from 3.4 so what I can do is press OK on that and let's have a look I can type in 37 okay there we go pressed OK on that so we type in 037, okay, press OK, there we go, 3700 to 42, scroll down and press OK. Okay, just bear in mind there are services still broadcasting below 3700, however, as 5G rolls out throughout Australia, those services won't be longer there or we'll just be subject to interference. Now as I mentioned while this is scanning the 5G rollout is going to be causing interference to satellite services and if you've got a typical 2.3 or 2.4 meter satellite dish or the, one of the large mesh satellite dishes and you've got just a typical LMB at some time you will be actually uh, subject to interference. What that means is that even though you've scanned to the new frequency you will have to upgrade the LMB. It may not be now, but it may be at some time in the future. It could be three months, it could be six months, it could be 12. So as Telstra, Optus, Vodafone roll out to the 5G services, and there are other few companies that have purchased Spectrum, then there's a chance that interference may occur. If that does occur, then that will require an LMB changeover to deal with uh, the 5G services, which are now utilising 3.4 to 3.7 gigahertz. Okay, I'm just going to pause it while this finishes scanning. Okay, so now while it's conducting a blind scan, you'll see the frequency there. It's counting down. So there's two polarities. There's a vertical and horizontal with a typical LMB. And you'll see as it's picking up services, it's going to list them down below. So I'll just hold that there for five minutes or about a minute. I'm not going to bother doing the whole video recording all the frequencies, but as you can see, they're actually, they're actually scanning. So now we've gone to horizontal. So it starts at the highest frequency and then works its way down. So you can see it's picked up TVE and Ray Italia, etc. However, they're the old frequencies, which is 3700 megs. So as now that tends towards 3800 megs you should see the new TVE pop up. Now other services that have been broadcast they will eventually move over other, um, at some point in time. <clears throat> okay.
Okay, so we're down to 3,900 megs. We're down to 3,800 megs. Now, as we get towards 3,840, I believe the TVA should pop up. There we, uh, there we are, just above 59. So that's the new TVA Spanish frequency. Okay, I might as well just hold on to this for now while it finishes tuning. Okay, we're down to 3,700 meg. Complete. All right, so you'll get to that point. Then what you do is press the exit once. Okay, you should get this screen. Press the exit again and press the exit again. Now, what you do is you press the down arrow button and you should see the channels go to one and then below is where the new services start. Now a quick way of finding it is press the OK button and you should see the list of channels. So we've got TVE on 304. Just press OK on that and then again and it'll list the whole channel. Now if you want to reallocate that channel, if you want to put it for example on channel 1, you would press the menu button. Okay, You would press the right arrow button to go to channels, press OK. OK, the default password for this is four zeros. All right, now you would select move channels, so press the down arrow button, press OK. Right, so we're on 304. Now what you do is you press the OK button once and it puts the little marker there. Now what you do is you move down the arrow button to go back to channel one. Okay, a little bit out of focus here. Let's have a look. Okay. Right, you would press the info button, which is this one. Press that once. And you'll see on the TV it pops up a line. Look, I'll press the info again. To get some focus. Okay, I'm going to press the info button. Okay, the line stays. Then you press the OK button. All right, and it's move TV the air. Then you press exit. It's asking if you want to save or not. So move to right arrow to yes, press OK, and it's saved. Then just keep pressing exit button till we get out. Right, and there's the broadcast again. Press the OK button, and you should see TVE there on one. So you can press OK again on it, and it'll bring it back to the program. Thanks for watching.